people, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Mango Tile. Okay, today's video is going to be a DIY video on this platform for your hamster. Um, I came about this idea just on my own, I guess. Um, I was um, thinking to myself that I wanted to make Mochi a platform so I could put her um, hamster wheel on top of here. So she has like another level to like exercise more. If you want to know how to do this platform, just keep on watching. Okay, before I start doing the DIY stand, I would like to say that my Rosewood Boredom Breaker climbing toy is finally here for Mochi. I have put it together really fast before I even record this video. So it's ready to go in her cage for her next stage change. And I hot glued the little stands onto the wood. So it's more stronger than, I guess, the glue that it came with. So I'm excited and it's really cute and really big too so I got that out of the way. So the items you will need for the stand or to make the stand is sizzle, contact paper of choice, I pick marble because it's cute and it matches my bedroom theme, two stands of choice, hardwood, um, flat surface or board. I got this and the two frame from Michaels and the sizzle from Hobby Lobby. Scissors and a flattening tool which I'm going to be using my mirror right here. So get your um, platform ready to go. So lay it flat on the surface and then what I like about this contact paper is that it has guidelines in the back so you can literally measure it out what you need to cover up so what I'm going to do is even this out right here this side so it looks like I should have flattened this out already but I forgot to so that's why it's like rolling up on me and stuff so let's measure it just to be, be sure again. So cut this straight across. Also, um, this marble contact paper is the marble contact paper that I'm going to do for my countertops as well too because. I'm planning to remodel my room and change everything around. So then, you finally cut your contact paper. So this is how the contact paper looked like. It will be a marble top. So if she pees and poop onto this, it'll be easy to wipe off and stuff. So what we're going to do now is flatten this. Put this down and then... Slowly peel this off. It's gonna roll, so you gotta be careful and don't.
you are done with this. So what you're going to do now is put this to the side. And then what we're going to do now is start with this. So what we're doing with this is we're going to wrap the sizzle around the whole leg, the bottom of the legs in here. So I have my hot glue gun ready to go. So let's go. <laughs> Top part, you're gonna start going straight across so the sizzle could start sticking to it so you could finish it off. I will be doing the second um, stand off camera because it's too much time consuming, and I don't think you guys are wanting to watch me do this like this many times. So I'll do that one off camera and then I'll come back on, okay, everyone? Now this is your sizzle wrap stand. Now it looks more natural looking. So I'm going to do the second one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm finally back. I finished doing the second one. So this is how the finished legs look like with the sizzle on it. So what you're going to do now is flip this over and you're going to glue it right here. Um, I was thinking about gluing the flat piece, the leg, this top piece to the bottom, but I want it so she doesn't chew on it. So I'm going to flip it over so it's going to look like this and this. And then this is how it will look like in there. So I'm just going to hot glue it down. So this is how the finished platform looks like. And then for the ladders or the stairway to go up there, you can use the long ladders or the smaller version of this one. Or you can use bindi bridges or the peco bindi bridges for the stairs as well. But then I'm going to use the long one because it looks cuter. So let me give you guys an example. And then spin this one. And then she'll climb up and then she run on her wheel up here. So that's all for my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.